in the world now. Not much. That, <laughs> that valley where we find Clark at the end of season four is hit. Um, and so, and the people on that ship are going to want it. The people in the bunker, when they get out, are going to want it. It's going to be a battle for Eden. So, uh, just to follow up, is that going to be kind of like the underlining theme of this new season, where like, previous season was like, um, survival, uh, nature, or man versus kind of experimentation. Yeah. So it is like the war for what's left going to be the theme of the season? Uh, and that's one of, that, I'd say that's probably the, the A story plot of the season. The theme that we're sort of circling often is this idea of rebirth, second chances, uh, you know, Clark has a child, that changes you. Uh, she, her perspective is all shifted. Um, the earth is regenerating itself slowly but surely. That's what the, the, the valley that happens to have missed the destruction of the rest of the planet, luckily, um, sort of represents. So the theme of the season on, on some level, and we'll, I'm sure, figure out a way to like, make it darker than this, but uh, <laughs> rebirth. So, so you, have we finally learned to live together in the front row? Yes, maybe. No. <laughs> um, it's going to be difficult. I listen. Happily ever after is not easy, so they all made it to the bunker. Octavia saved them all, obviously, or the hundred from each clan that, sh that was selected. And they now have to live together under there, which is not easy. There's not enough resources, there's not enough space. Um, five years would have probably been doable, but obviously we know at the end of the season that they're still under there and it's been six years. So you can imagine that the psychology changes when they realize that door is in there. So, so obviously there's going to be a lot of flashbacks this season. How do you balance? Yeah. <laughs> right, so. how, how do you, how, no, this is a good question. It is. So how do you balance um, staying progressing the story forward yeah. um, in season five with all the flashbacks you're going to have? It is a good question. It's also tricky when you do a time jump. You know, it's not like the the time period that we skipped over is boring, right? Like mm -hmm. the stuff that we missed was the bunker coming together, you know, how one crew, what made it or didn't make it. Obviously survival on the, on the ring is, is exciting and interesting. And Clark's journey on the ground by herself is, is cool too. So we will see some of it. Uh, you know, most of the season will be told going forward because it defeats the purpose of a time jump, I think, to like really live in that flashback world. But we will early on in the season Go unwind and, and show Clark, you know, as the last person on the world, and on the earth, and you know, wandering aimlessly through the wasteland and finding Maddie, and um, how that changes her. That'll be a story that we tell. Probably giving way too much now, but uh, definitely we'll go back and tell that bunker story too. Um, but we won't live that much. Is, is, it correct, is it the correct assumption that Maddie's going to be a night blood, and is that going to impact you? Did we get that away? Yeah, she calls her my little nightblood, I think, in, in the last scene. So, yes, Maddie is a nightblood. I can say that. <laughs> a legit nightblood. Natural born. How I, I'm sorry. With the new group coming down and Clark's perspective already shifting because of Maddie, do you think we're going to see her rethinking some of her decisions? Because now she's kind of the grounder to this yeah. new group coming down. I think that's a really great question. One of the things that we that was so exciting to me when we started to think about this new idea, this new group coming down, is that we have flipped the narrative, right? Suddenly, they're the hundred that are landing, and they're prisoners. They're legitimately criminals in many cases. Uh, unlike the people that got arrested on the ark for you know, stealing food for whatever. Um, and yes, we are now the grounders. You know, Clark is now in the position of Lincoln in the woods, sort of watching these people come down. Uh, and yet, I think, you know, I think the evolution of Clark over the last couple of seasons has been that already. Like, she's already come to see, you know, a more holistic view of, of the grounders and of, of plans and of people in general. But yeah, for sure, now she is. But when, you know, the line in the premiere almost directly mirrors the line, the, her last line from, uh, from uh, the pilot. Can, and can you describe the footage you're going to show at the panel? Well, we haven't shot anything yet. We haven't started shooting. So we, we start production in mid-August, but I did create um, a sizzle reel, which is a different kind of thing. We haven't seen... Uh, uh, I created a couple new VisFX shots, so those are interesting. I wish that we had more time to make them perfect. Um, and we'll hear the voice of a new character, narrating. So, yeah.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.